Greetings, all of you lovely inhabitants of Egg Island, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies with me, Lathrex, and of course, welcome to the second episode of this playthrough, where today we're going to be testing out the ever beautiful Imperial Cannon. Now, after reading the comments in the previous video, it seems like overall most people would like to see a land ship design, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Now, this is the Imperial Cannon in question. This is a heavy cannon in comparison and the regular cannon we've been using so far. As you can see, it's pretty immense, but the damage is absolutely insane. 480 piercing damage in comparison to the regular cannon, which only does 60. A direct hit from this is pretty much going to just level anything it hits. Now, the range on it is actually not as good as you might first imagine. Only 740 meters for its accurate range, the heavy cannon is 1,100, and the regular cannon is 950. So, we do need to get a little bit closer than I would like with the Imperial Cannon. Definitely going to be sticking with accurate firing for this, but this is how we're going to be building our tank all around this one major weapon. Now, what we could do is have some anti-aircraft stuff like aerial charge, I could get some of the other things from research in order to fire upwards as well, but likely what we're going to do is something akin to the Imperial Cannon, maybe one heavy cannon, and then just a load of muskets and rifles around for some very light defense, and then just make it quite large and quite heavily defended. This thing is going to be the ultimate siege vehicle. While our airships fight for supremacy in the skies, this thing will only focus on the enemy buildings, just utterly obliterating them, hopefully in... Not all that many hits. But before we continue, I do need to mention something about the previous video. In the previous video, a lot of you mentioned I made a major mistake in the intro, and that's because I recorded the intro separately from when I actually started the game. Because in the intro, you could see on the settings, I had rapid commands on, which was clearly off in the actual gameplay footage. That's why we can't constantly give commands every second. But also, more importantly, the gameplay was set to medium, not hard. Which is a pretty important thing when I spent the entire intro talking about how I double-checked it's on hard mode. That's what happens when you do the intro after you start the gameplay. And I have asked the developer, it seems like there isn't a clear way at the moment in order to check difficulty. I'm gonna go and double check that with some friends who've been playing the game, but it seems that right now there's not an option to just quickly check the difficulty you're in. I know it's in hard mode 100%, but I can't find it in the game files to prove it. Okay, I think I've figured it out. A few people have got back to me. This is like 10 minutes later of me checking through files. If we go into cheats... And then, okay, I really don't want to mess anything up here. Change difficulty. There we go, it's already on hard mode, perfect. Okay, yeah, so that's the way you can apparently check for anyone who's wondering to check some of the settings. Okay. Don't know if that was worth my 10 minutes, but there's live. Is there a way to turn off cheat mode permanently in the game as well? No, looks like that option is always there. Okay, well, good to know. Back to the game. Hi everyone, Future Lathrix here, just briefly for once. I'm just here to say that there has been a bit of a delay after New Year's with all the videos. This was because of the damage done from the water leak in my new house, which we've been having to sort out for the last few days, including some electrical problems. Everything is now completely sorted, everything is fine, and the videos will be returning on a more regular schedule, probably by the end of this week, or maybe the next. Either way, expect a lot more airships and the completion of this series probably over the next month, and honestly, this video was insanely fun. It turns out I really like cannons, and the bigger the cannon, the more fun it is. So, with lots of explosions, lots of damage, and hopefully a lot of fun, I really do hope you enjoy this video. And remember, likes and comments really help out with the algorithm, because YouTube seems to hate long-form content, even when it's about 30 minutes long, so let's try and defeat the shorts together. I'm going to stop the production of that Enforcer. I'm about to have a lot of repairs. We took some damage from the Amoeba, which, by the way, I had to fight again because I forgot to save after fighting that thing because I'm an absolute dum-dum. I actually lost more this time because, yeah, apparently I wasn't paying attention. So straight away into design landship. What type of propulsion is our first one? I mean, we do have legs. Legs are always fun. They're more vulnerable, aren't they? Weight, 1,200 HP, 800, sorry, 600... Yeah, so I'm thinking 
we go all in. We're not going to want more than one of these per fight, and it's only going to be sent out to sh as a show of dominance. But what if we did that? Lathric shouldn't do that. But Lathric kind of wants to do that. Reinforced armor on the more vulnerable sections. The coal is going to be pretty much vulnerable, but I'm going to just leave that. The ammo should be better protected now. I'll double check the placement and everything in a second. So this is reinforced wooden armor. HP is up from 50 to 75. Weight is massively increased, as you can imagine. Absorbs 6 blast and 12 piercing. I haven't really seen much blast is the thing. I've seen a lot of piercing stuff though, so that's why I've gone with this over steel armor. It's a little bit heavier and a bit more expensive. Wow, this thing's going to cost 4k minimum when it's finished. But it should bring the end to anything it hits. I don't know how I always end up with a face on these things, but you know, I'm just going to roll with it. Kind of looks like I'm making Rexar from the Rugrats, but with more, you know, less child-friendly elements. Well, for now, this will be our monstrosity. Simply called Siege. It's going to be a while before we can make it, so for now let's just try and protect our territory. And watch how the other empires continue their efforts. Oh good. And of course someone stole that stuff. Okay, we'll accept this research treaty for some money. It seems like this empire is very weak at the moment. Really, the powerhouses are Gilfield. I've looked at their house, their house, their... Um, Capital at one point, they had about as many ships as we did. This over here, Slough or Sloth or Slough, is moving very quickly and yet already has two and is moving down quickly. And one of the empires down here did have more territory and has been forced back. We are getting to that point now where the true powerhouses are showing themselves. Thankfully, we're one of them. So I think I might take this advantage and just go after these things. I really, really, really want the Turtle Dove Graveyard, which I think is this one, right? Yeah, you're weaker at the moment. Either way, I think it's that one which will have it, so I might go after that. Or I could just go after the Mad Scientist. Ooh, I could risk the, ma the Mad Scientist, see what that has for me. Well, either way, let's move our forces over to our other base. Then we'll decide. Well, I was going to go to war with them, but my god, that is a lot of things to fight. Uh, apparently everyone down there is just buddied up. Right. I don't really want to fight the mad scientists just yet. I know how strong they are. They have that Tesla coil thing. What's the Tesla? I know it was weird. I know it was a weird weapon that did weird things. What else can I go after then? For the time being, I'm going to have to just wait. Probably should just wait until I have my land craft then, then I can go after things a little bit more. I want that as well. Extra cannon damage. Okay, return for now. I've just demanded tribute from Quill. If they do not accept, we will be going to war with them. And they have accepted. They were the weaker of all these groups, so that's what we're going with. What I'm really nervous about is this little empire over here, which is apparently similar strength to us somehow. Looks like our amazing start is starting to no longer be quite as much of a huge advantage. Good. I'm currently building one of our new siege craft. Ooh, what are you? A trio of strange mechanical cubes menaces the skies in this location. Okay, steampunk Borg, good to know. Okay, I didn't expect the tentacle. So these are the very odd looking cubes. Is that cannon or, okay, so melee weapon, Cannon, question mark. Pfft, some kind of ranged weapon. I'm thinking we start quite far away. Go with aimed fire. Don't stack up too much. I don't want to... Oh, well, I don't know what's going to happen exactly. You, actually, I will put down here. I'm going to send you flying forwards as soon as the fight starts. So what I want you to do is go over here. Uh, flip first. Yeah, flip first this time. 
I'll change to aimed fire when I can. All of you straight away into aimed fire. Ooh, okay. That's definitely a ranged weapon. That's a saw. Immediately, I know which one I need to take out first. Shouldn't have flipped first. I forgot how slow this thing was. That's my fault. On the upside, if that can keep them all distracted there. Beautiful. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, you lot. I'm going to move you down. I don't know where the melee ones are right now, but they're probably heading our way. I'm going to move you closer. The enemy seems to have perfect accuracy, so I just want you to get closer, because you don't. You very much don't. Oh, lord. Okay, you back off. The saw's there, we need to be careful. I'll take out that range one already. Yes! Also, very satisfying explosion. Uh, you know what? Let's just flip on the spot, shall we? Here's where rapid um, commands would come in. Real handy. Yeah, that, to be fair though, they don't seem to have enough commands. That's the problem. It takes them so long to start moving. Okay, this ship's down. Can I even move this? Oh, I can! Look at that lovely black smoke. I need to pause it more often. That's definitely a weakness of mine. I tend to let it go way too long without stopping to think and add more commands. Okay, two down. Uh, yeah, let's flip first. Look at me using hotkeys like a pro. Or a basic level gamer. And this should be it, really. So what do we get then from destroying the cubes? Plus three reputation and technology suspendium projection. What is that? We're somewhere near the bottom, I imagine. Ooh, ooh, the suspendium cannon. I can't remember if that's good or not, but I am really, really curious. Okay, so let's have our weapons. We've just got access to a pretty light game weapon out of nowhere. And the suspendium ra- Oh, that's what they were using! Ooh, that looks cool. Okay, so that's two really cool weapons. Extreme speed and accuracy. Maximum accurate range, 3,200. So super long range. Not very much of a firing arc. Not insane damage. Requires coal. Okay, so that uses coal and not ammo. I think it's the same for this then, probably. Yeah, since there's uh, suspendium, which uses coal to normally make things fly. Piercing damage, 12 times 12. Reload time, 4 seconds. I mean, that's really cool. That is just insanely cool. I obviously want the rain. Obviously, it's going to be an airship. Ooh, look at the firing arc, though. Okay, that's next episode. That's what we're using. Obviously. Our tank is now complete. Okay, so we've broken our non-aggression pact with Dragonbridge. Actually, peacefully, what we've done is we've stopped demanding tribute, and in return, we've also broke the agreement. We did this amicably, so I haven't lost any of my reputation. So what I'm going to do now is send everything but maybe three enforcers over to attack. I don't want to send everything because they're just going to jump and attack our capital otherwise. Uh, as much as possible. As soon as we get there I want to attack because I want to destroy their vessels. Here's hoping they don't have many vessels. Okay, instantly, let's attack- oh, they moved already. Oh, you know what? That does look very, very cool when it's dark. Look at that. Okay, I'm quite happy with my craft here. If I just accept automatic result, what will happen is we'll just win. Instantly, that's fine. Gentle takeover. Did their ships just vanish because of that? Because if so, whoops. Okay, we moved- oh, there they are. Very glad I kept the enforcers here, then. Maybe we should have kept more. Oh, they're not going to. I should have paid more attention. Okay, we're going to lose that, but in return, we're about to take Dragon Bridge. There's their defenders. I really want to see this thing actually fight. I was hoping they would stay and defend. 
Don't think that shot's gonna hit. Such a long range. Yep. About to move over to aim fire. Our first shot from the Imperial Cannon. Yep. You may have noticed a lot of it just vanished. Oh, yeah, love that. You can have all the armor you want. This thing will crush you. And we're not taking any damage by the looks of things just because of our sheer health. Very, very pleased with that. I love the huge clouds as well. Actually, the sponsons are doing alright. Okay, so they're going to take... Oh, they're going to take that, aren't they? That's incredibly annoying, but fine. You, one last move. Let's have my fleet chasing after them, I guess. They have missiles and they have ground troops. Don't let them get too close, and we don't want to be too close to each other either. Next time I see some shots moving, I'll actually move my ships a little bit. Where's that even going? Uh, it's towards one of those two, I think. Shouldn't have gathered one of command. I could have let him move. That's probably trying to board us, so let's get out of the way. Definitely boarded the defences I had before, so it's interesting that it's not boarding, well, trying to board now, it's just run away. Ow, ow. Just stay with accurate, stay nice and far apart from each other, and that should be it with those explosions and that fire. Okay, it's kind of attached to us now, so that's annoying. Yeah, I can't even flip it. Well, that's a pretty basic fight, really. Victory for us. The enforcers are cheap, but I really do like them. We're just merged, aren't we? We're just one, these two craft. I do think cannons are remarkably satisfying things to use. Just seeing chunks fly off is always lovely. Gentle takeover of the thing which is already mine, that is incredibly annoying, and I'm going to build a factory on a side note because I need more money. Okay, we're already there. This will be the last of their forces. I imagine they're probably going to give up straight away. Oop, yep, victory. And that is that, so, okay. Diplomatic, sure, diplomatic, sure. So now we have three shipyards. And we also have float honey. Oh! My god, I thought that was something completely different. I thought that was something to do with the, okay, I misread, well, I, I missaw the icon. I thought that was something like this. That is much better than I thought it was. Minus 10 unrest in each city, minus 10% construction speed, and plus 40% income from trade treaties. Well, for now then... Ooh, that's not great. I don't like you, but I do love you, and... You're fighting now, aren't you? Oof. That is a problem. Okay, towards the west, things are occurring. You want a research treaty and a trade treaty? I mean, I still really want the Turtle Dove Graveyard, but with all of you being friends at the moment, sure, I'll, I do need the money as well, quite desperately. An age of piety. A great religious revival sweeps the land. Holy sites have sprung up in Nah, Catsworth, and Toothford. 
minus 10% unrest in towns and cities. End the age in your favor by controlling all three holy sites. Oh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Straight away. Giant bees! A swarm of giant bees has built hives here. Great. I'm getting ready to attack this empire, which is currently trying to take over Guild Guildfield. I want Guildfield to be alive and on my side. I will go to war with you if you do not accept this trade treaty. Do you accept? My love? Good. Attacking a small band of pirates. So I'm fairly certain these can board, so I probably shouldn't get too close to the ground or too close to them. I know I'm doing the opposite of that right now, but I just want that sheer firepower. Such cute little blimps. Uh, are they the same on both sides? Yes, okay. In that case, all of you just move forwards. We should have enough firepower to brute force this at this point. Ah. Well, one thing I boarded briefly there, because I got too close to the 3,000? Sorry, I was just kind of shocked by 3,000. I'm going to keep that, because in the next video, as soon as we start, what I'm going to do... Oh, they managed to get it back. Well done, Guildfield. Good, so now I can go over there. Lovely. Okay, so what I was going to say is in the next video straight away, I want to use the lasers. So I want to save all that money. Try and use what we've got already to take out at least some of their forces here. I want to push into their territory a little bit in order to defend Guildfield. I don't know why I want to keep Guildfield alive. I just kind of do. I do want that gold, though. I do want to take out some of the mad scientists. There's loads we can do next time. What I've done instead is invest heavily into universities. Everything has a factory already. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, um, cancel that. Make sure we have factories everywhere and then universities after that. We want our lovely, lovely money. I'm tempted to build small shipyards just for the fun of it, but I think I'll resist for now. Is it worth trying to go after the holy sites? Not really. They're all over the place. We must defend ourselves against their very, very cool-looking vessels. They look heavily defended, but they're really not. Mostly balloons. Like us! We've just got the faster reload tech as well, so our cannons are doing more than they used to. Okay, lovely. Flip straight away, you two back off. I did not see that rocket there, because it is way too dark. Ah, the issue is I've just run out of ammo. Um, I guess they flee? Yeah, we destroyed both of their ships, though, and that's all that really matters, because now I can just take it back by sending anything. Well, that's not great. The other team just reinforced. Do I stay here or run? Well, the light is on our side, which is a big deal here, so... Rockets. They have rockets. Which I should be very tanky against, in terms of the siege. If everything lines up behind the siege... All stay on aim, just stay far away. They can't really focus them down because of the inaccuracies, and of course, rockets are just woefully inaccurate anyway. Stagger them a little bit. You, I want, I want to move a bit forwards. You, 
You know what? Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. What are the other craft like? Rockets again. The inaccuracy is going to be dreadful for them. Fine. I love the fact the large cannons fire straight away. Oh, the whole front section just when I instantly took out the rocket from the first target. You know what? Change it straight away then. Remember as well, our armor is very, very good versus explosives. What a miss there by the cannon. Yeah, even at this range, rapid fire can be really, really atrocious. Okay, I'm actually going to move you a bit forward just in case you do get taken out. It doesn't, see doesn't seem like you are after, well, being shot at at all, but we're not, I want to be really careful there. Okay, that one's on fire. Hopefully that'll take it out. Looks like that top cannon can't fire directly down, which is understandable. The sun's in whose eyes? It's from right to left are less accurate. Who's firing left? There you go. I want their grape shot cannons in range. Uh, okay, that one's going down already. Ooh, lovely. Oh, look at that direct hit there from the Imperial Cannon. The entire core of this thing just went. Now, you know what? I'm going to start moving you. So let's... Move you two up there. You two up like there. This thing is tanking so well. So far, no major damage taken, despite a lot of hits actually being, you know dealt. Can you be less stuck, please? Okay, another one on fire. Seems like they can't deal with fire very well. Yeah, keep going after that one. In fact, I'm going to move you a little bit closer when I can. Slow motion is... I know this is very hard to say. Very slow. Can I please see another one of the large cannon shots? I would love that. There we go. Please hit. I know it's long range and you're on rapid fire, but still... Ow. I don't even know where that one went, kind of just vanished from existence. There we go. Okay, now it's after the larger things. Uh, I could probably brute force my way past them, but rather not try and move that thing. Fine, we'll try. Oh, crushing the competition. Oh, and I'm stuck. Oh, no. Yeah, too much in the way. As that one rests on an enemy, a definite dominance pose there. But, yeah, clear victory here. The inaccuracy plus the fact this thing could just take so many rocket hits. Look, most of the armor. Oh my god, all the armor is intact. I can't see any fully broken armor. I mean, some of the struts are gone. Okay, the siege can definitely do its namesake. What a glorious fight. And of course, a gentle takeover. Where are you going? Returning home. Uh, do we sue for peace now, maybe? Make peace. Yeah, they really want a truce now. Uh, you know what? I like tributes. I love tributes. I'd also like to, re to receive some money. Thank you very much. Hmm. Ah, so I can't uh, ask both of them then. Okay, fine. Demand tribute. Receive money. Oh, you don't care as much. Okay, so I do have to go with this much weaker one. Oh, but they're so weak. Look how weak they are. But I would like peace, because I want to start attacking towards the north and the south soon. They have things I actually want. Over here, you have problems. Oh, I guess there is that over there, isn't there? The, the master metallurgist. 
I'll leave that for next time, though, I think. For now, I don't want to lose any more than I would have got. It's going to take a long time to restock everything. I want peace at the moment. We have a new shipyard. That's going to be worth a fortune. We're in a good position. Demand tribute. Receive money. Receive submission. Done. So now we're in truce. Good. And we can return home once I have the resources to do so. Send that, that, that uh, supply vessel over, because that has everything there. So I have to wrap that then, apparently. Okay, we have a weird bit of territory because it is, after all, me, and I have to have some border gore. 